I'm Karen Hughes, the principal at Ridgeland High School, and I'm excited about our 2022-2023 school year. I wanted to let you know about a few changes for this year. This year, our focus is back to the basics. We're focusing on attendance, being on time, engagement, and student achievement. Our mission is to ensure that all students graduate ready for college, ready for work, and ready for life. Attendance. We expect all students to be at school each day. Attendance is an important element of our mission to ensure students are ready for college, work, and life. Tardies is very important to be on time for all classes each day. We are implementing a new tardy policy. Every five tardies per class, students will be given one detention. These detentions are one hour detentions that will be served on Tuesday or Wednesday each week. They can be served before or after school. Once a student reaches 10 tardies in a class, the student will receive two detentions. Once a student reaches 15 tardies, then the student will serve ISS for two days. The tardy policy will also apply to homeroom. The learning environment needs to be free from distractions. Each student will have their own Chromebook. We have the following RHS electronic policy for this year. All students are provided a Chromebook for use in the classroom setting. Therefore, the use of a personal electronic device is no longer needed or permitted. During class times, there will be no cell phones. Cell phones are to remain in your backpack or pocket and completely out of sight. No earbuds. Earbuds are to remain in your backpack or pocket completely out of sight. Also, no smartwatch use. Restroom breaks will be permitted once you trade your phone for the pass. You will receive your phone back to put away once the pass is returned. Consequences. First offense is a verbal redirection to put the device away. Second offense, the device will be taken up by the teacher and will be returned at the end of class. The third offense in each reoccurrence, the device will be taken up by the teacher and turned over to administration and returned at the end of the school day. Phones will be allowed to be used during class changes and lunch unless the student has their device turned over to administration. If there's an emergency need to contact your student during a class, parents may contact the front office at 706-820-9063. In regards to assessment, end of course tests are given in the following subjects. English 3, Algebra 1, Biology 1, and U.S. History. These exams count 20% of each student's final grade in those four courses. Non-EOC courses will also have a final exam that will count 20% of each student's final grade. Even through COVID, RHS has kept over a 91% graduation rate. In 2007, our graduation rate was 59%. Ready for work, RHS will be upholding the Walker County dress code that can be found in the FYI link. We encourage students to dress for success each day. This is a reminder that hoodies over your head and face coverings are not allowed. Also, mid-drift tops are not allowed. If there are violations of this dress code, it will be addressed. Medical face masks will be allowed. Open house will be Wednesday August the 3rd from 4 to 6 p.m. The first day of school is August the 4th. Building will open at 7 a.m. and the school day is from 8.15 a.m. to 3.10 p.m. At Ridgeland High School, we expect all of our Panthers to uphold the Panther Creed in all areas of our campus. I will be safe, I will respect the learning environment, I will respect others, and I will respect myself. Once again, I'm very excited for this upcoming school year. Parents and students, I appreciate your time to watch this video, and I look forward to working with you this year. Go Panthers!